Pluto is a dwarf planet in a donut-shaped area of frozen planets beyond Neptune's orbit known as the Kuiper Belt. In 2015, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft flew through the Pluto system for the first time, producing the first close-up photos of Pluto and its moon, and other data that has revolutionized our knowledge of these strange planets on the solar system's outskirts. Years after that historical encounter, practically every theory about Pluto being an inert lump of ice has been debunked. This video will tell you about New Horizons' discoveries of what's happening under Pluto's surface. We'd love for you to stay tuned until the end so you can get all the vital information. Pluto is a tiny planet with amazing mysteries, although it's too far from Earth for the naked eye to see. That is, until NASA's New Horizons spacecraft arrived in 2015 and changed our perception of this distant, intriguing asteroid. Although physically out in the cold, Pluto is now known by scientists to be a fascinating, lively and scientifically helpful planet. Surprisingly, it may contain some secrets to better understanding the other minor planets in our solar system's farthest reaches. However, the New Horizons probe's close brush with Pluto lasted six days after almost a decade in orbit. The intrepid, piano-sized probe came within 7,800 miles of Pluto after a roughly 10-year journey of over 3 billion miles. Scientists were fortunate enough to watch the surface of this faraway globe in breathtaking, colourful detail for the first time. They were immediately astonished by the massive amount of features on the surface. Pluto, rather than being flat and dull, seemed full of azure sky, whirling moons, mountains, as tall as the Rockies, and snow. But it was red snow. The height of these peaks was approximated to be over 4,000 meters by measuring the size of the shadows. The glowing areas might be frozen nitrogen blankets or perhaps nitrogen glaciers. The New Horizons team spent 15 years planning and executing this flyby, and Pluto repaid us handsomely. One of the most shocking discoveries is that Pluto has a heart, which fuels the planet's activities. Pluto's heart was detected on approach and photographed in great detail during the flyby. According to New Horizons, it is a massive million-square-mile nitrogen glacier. Sputnik Planitia, the heart's left ventricle, essentially drove the dwarf planet to realign itself. The basin now faces nearly exactly opposite Pluto's moon, Chiron. Sputnik Planitia was most likely formed 4 billion years ago by the collision of a Kuiper Belt object 30 to 60 miles broad, which ripped off a big part of Pluto's ice crust, leaving just a thin, weak layer at the basin's bottom. A subterranean ocean most likely intruded the basin from below, pressing against the weakening crust. The thick layer of nitrogen ice observed there was eventually placed on top. It is in a cold trap, with nitrogen ice accumulating to form an ice sheet at least 2.5 miles. The continual imbalance of that massive mass, along with Chiron's tide, pulls as it orbited Pluto, tilted the dwarf planet, aligning the basin more closely with the tidal axis between Pluto and Chiron. The basin is considered to have developed closer to Pluto's north pole, northwest of its current position. Icebergs may not have been the only factor that helped reorient Sputnik Planitia. The data from New Horizons revealed that there may be a heavier mass underneath the basin that had a role. Scientists believe that the more severe the mass is a water ocean. This means that Pluto's surface is most likely covered by a large liquid water ocean. It was an incredible find, Tuttle added, that would make Pluto an elusive ocean planet similar to Europa, Enceladus, and Titan. Numerous additional lines of evidence, including tectonic features seen in New Horizons pictures, hint at an ocean under Pluto's crust. Current simulations based on Pluto's photos imply that this liquid ocean may have formed due to Pluto's quick and violent creation. Pluto will continue to reorient itself if ice continues to pile on the basin. Massive fissures span over and rip nearly 2.5 miles through Pluto's frozen crust. One of scientists' few explanations for Pluto's cracks is the progressive freezing of an ocean under its surface. Simulations based on New Horizons data revealed that Pluto possesses the requirements for that form of contraction. Still, no known geologic evidence suggests that contraction has happened. According to geologists, this indicates that the underlying water is still freezing and perhaps forming new faults on the surface. Although Pluto's liquid ocean is undoubtedly still there, Scientists believe it is separated in most areas, though not under Sputnik, by over 200 miles of ice. 
That means it's unlikely to come into touch with the surface today. However, it may have leaked due to volcanic activity known as cryovolcanism. Data from the New Horizon also suggests that Pluto was, and maybe still is, volcanically active. The surface of the dwarf planet is being renewed by some invisible mechanism or processes. Molten lava spits, drools, bubbles and bursts from underwater volcanic cracks that sit kilometers above and protrude from the seas. Yet Pluto has several signs that a kind of icy, slushy cryolava has flowed over the surface at different spots. Wright Mons and Picard Mons, two enormous mountains south of Sputnik Planitia, both include a deep central hole that scientists think is the mouth of a cryovolcano unique to the solar system. To the west of Sputnik, Viking Terra has lengthy fissures and grabbins that exhibit traces of once flowing cryolavas all over the surface. Farther west of Sputnik Planitia lies the Virgil Fosse region. Ammonia-rich cryolavas have burst to the surface and blanketed several thousand square kilometers with red-colored organic molecules not more than a billion years ago. Pluto joins Earth, Mars, and other moons with actively flowing glaciers. Hundreds of nitrogen ice glaciers stream down from scarred hills into the basin, cutting up valleys as they travel east of Sputnik Planitia. Thulu Makula, dubbed the whale due to its shape, is an extended, black area at Pluto's equator named after H.P. Lovecraft's mythical god. It's the most prominent black feature on Pluto, measuring 1,860 miles. It is the biggest of Pluto's dark regions or brass knuckles which straddle the equator. The brass knuckles are a group of semi-regularly spaced black dots with uneven borders. They are 300 miles in diameter and near the equator between the whale's heart and tail. Tall uplands divide the brass knuckles from one another. Several canyons flow through them and the neighboring mountains, some hundreds of miles long and several miles deep. The black hue of the region is thought to be caused by a layer of tar consisting of complex hydrocarbons called tholins that develop in the atmosphere when methane and nitrogen interact with ultraviolet light and cosmic rays. A vast number of craters inside Cthulhu suggest that it is billions of years old as opposed to the nearby bright craterless Sputnik Planitia which might be as young as 100 million years. Fields of transverse dunes produced by winds blowing from the center of Sputnik Planitia in the direction of surrounding mountains may be seen in the western half of Sputnik Planitia near Al Idrisi Montes. The wavelengths of the dune are most likely made up of methane ice particles of about 200-300 meters in size. The particles are above the surface when the nitrogen ice sublimates under sun irradiation. After that, they are pushed by mild breezes with speeds ranging from 1 to 10 meters a second, despite the relatively low air pressure of around 15 bar. Scientists believe the glacier's ice is caused by seasonal and mega-seasonal cycles of nitrogen ice that sublimate from ice to vapor, waft about the dwarf planet, and then freeze again on the surface. However, these glaciers are not the same as our water ice glaciers on Earth. Since liquid nitrogen is less thick than solid nitrogen, any melt inside them will float to the top rather than descend to the glacier's bottom. When the liquid nitrogen rises to the glacier's surface, it may explode as jets or geysers. One significant anomaly in the Pluto system is that neither Pluto nor Chiron contains many tiny craters. They are virtually all large. New Horizons also took spectacular photographs of Pluto's moon, Chiron, revealing some intriguing geology. Charon has two distinct terrain types on the side that New Horizons imaged in high resolution. An enormous southward stretching plain officially called Vulcan Planitia and a rugged terrain colloquially called Oz Terra that stretches northward to Charon's North Pole. Both originated from the freezing and expansion of an old ocean under Charon's crust. There are more discoveries yet to be made of Pluto. Stay glued to our channel as we promise to keep you updated with more information from NASA. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, we're sure you would like this next video here. Thanks for watching.